Hey, everyone. Ever wonder how you can do grain sack straps? I'm gonna show you how I made this planter. this sanded. Now that I've got it sanded, I don't need it to be perfectly smooth because I want it to look old. I'm just wiping it off. And now I'm going to take my hanger's tape and I'm going to tape off the edges. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put some tissue paper inside so it makes it white. Just like this. Now, I've got it spray painted and we'll take out all of this. And I'm going to remove my tape. What I'm gonna do, I have some washi tape. And I'm going to find center of this five and a quarter here's what i'm going to do i'm going to take my washi tape i'm going to lay it right in the center there we go i need two Go ahead, lay this right beside it. Making sure, right, like that. And The middle piece off, make sure it's stuck. Now, there we go. Now, I have this, it's called Georgia Clay. It's kind of a orange brown color. I'm gonna get me a sponge and I'm going to start sponging this on. This may take a few coats, but make sure it stays stacked down. We are going to be making some grain sack stripes. Take a couple of coats. I'm gonna do one side then on camera, then I'll do the other side off camera. But before the last coat dries, go ahead and remove your tape. That way, it won't take off any of the paint when it dries. We'll do the other side. Very skinny washi tape. And I'm going to lay it right along the edge of this. 
just like so. Just like this. Now. That one. Until it looks like this. Now we're going to do the same thing. Let's go ahead and just pounce, pounce, pounce. Try not to get it on the other side of your farthest tape. Remove the tape gently. Save these to reuse. May have to do a little touch up. May have to do a little bit of touch up. That's what it looks like. I have this Tim Holtz ideology collage paper. It's like tissue paper. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to find me a couple of images that I like. I'm just going to put it on one side. I think I'll go with this where it says Birdie Darling. And I'm just going to go around the edge. And let's go ahead and just gently rip it where I wet it. And there is a word. So, my Mod Podge. Let's see which side I want it to be. We'll do this side. Start in the middle and work my way out. Okay. Now let's see, where do I want it? Get me a bag. Smooth it down the best I can. Be very careful not to rip anything. Go ahead and seal this in so it won't peel off. I went ahead and sanded down my edges. This is not completely dry. This is still drying. But there is a planter box or a decor box. Let me go ahead and cut some styrofoam. I now have my styrofoam. 
in. So what I'm going to do is I have some of these green. They look like hydrangeas, but they're green. So I'm gonna go ahead and place some of these in here. This I'm gonna put in the center. And I'm just gonna start filling up around it. Just a different file, what I think it looks like file. Some whites, some off white. Greenery. Now, I have these little birds. And I think I'm just going to stick a bird into the arrangement. Take some of this moss. As we know, moss is messy. it off in the bag and I'm just going to kind of stuff it in here around these holes to kind of hide the greenery
around the edges. Hopefully this will keep it from being too messy. There you have it. Green sack strapped planter. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Give, uh, I hope you give green sack straps a try. And uh, they're not that hard to do. They're kind of, well, they're kind of tedious actually. But they are fun. So give them a try and see what you can come up with. Well, I'm going to end it here. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, to hit that notification button, and to share my video. It truly, truly helps me out. So until next time, I'll see you on the flip side, my crafty crew. Bye.